The Avenger is an Aegis ship, it's a single person fighter. It's one of our cheaper ships, it's slightly more expensive than a starter but cheaper than most of our proper dedicated uh, dogfighters. It's got a handful of missiles, it's got a weapon on each wing, usually the default loadout is the Joker Sucker Punch which is effective against shields and on the nose it's got, currently it's got the Tiger Strike which is a ballistic Gatling cannon which is fairly effective at tearing up enemy hull. The reason for us revamping the old Avenger is because the old one was too small. You couldn't walk through from the front to back very easily and your character would be hunched down. Now in the bigger one, you can actually stand up straight and get through far, far easier than you could before. And it's giving you a little bit of extra room at the back. So with the old Avenger, anyone that's got one will probably have noticed. The interior section, once you go through the, the cargo or the, the holding cell area, is very small, very cluttered. You, you had to go through like a canned animation to get into the, the central area and your character would be like squatted down and you kind of crawl through the middle area. With the ship being made bigger, that's no longer the case. We've, we've just got a door and you can walk through it. The door's are a short distance off the ground, so you might have to have an animation of you walking up a step, but it's not going to be anything like it used to be. You've just got more space in there. The, the bed is now bigger, like it's actually the sort of size bed that someone would reasonably you know, want to get in and sleep in. It's, it essentially, it's, a lot of it is a quality of life improvement for the pilot of the ship. In enlarging the Avenger, we wanted to make sure that we kept the same design that we had originally for the exterior, because it was a very recognizable shape, the, the big curves. And we, we wanted to make sure that it didn't look much bigger than it already was. So the curves actually helped with that to mask any changes in the size. Interior-wise, it meant that we have more room to play with. So the bedroom has been made bigger and there's components that are housed in there now. Even though we've got all this extra space, we wanted to ensure that we kept the same design philosophies that we started with. So all the inspiration is the same. So we were using the NASA Space Shuttle very heavily to influence the design of it. And you'll see that with the new materials that we've made, these are more reminis reminiscent of the thermal panels that are used on the exterior of, that, of those ships. The ships is coming along. It, the ship can currently fly, it can be destroyed, it can break apart. We've got the new interiors actually in, but we're getting a lot of like the finery sorted. So uh, LODs are now being, like they've been made, but I'm just getting them so they all appear in the right places. Uh, the damage tech's being sorted. It needs to go to audio for an audio pass. I mean, the ship's a few months out yet, but like the fundamentals of it are all there and working. And yeah, I mean, you can fly it and you can fight another Avenger in it. So that's fine. So th there are two entry points for the ship, one at the cockpit and one at the rear of the ship. If you enter through the rear of the ship, depending on which variant you're in, you'll be greeted with either a cargo hold, an EMP drive, or the prisoner cells. One of the things that I worked on was the bedroom. And even though there was already a bedroom there, it was really confined and used in some of the old tech that we had. So it was nice to be able to bring in that new fresh lick of paint on it, basically, and just make it, fit, make it match the rest of the game. The interior is the thing that's most in keeping with the Aegis brand. You'll see some similarities between the, the way things are designed on the interior and in the Idris, for example. They're very similar shapes because it is the same manufacturer. There are three different variants for the Avenger. You've got the Stalker, the Titan, and the Warlock. The Stalker is the Bounty Hunter variant. So this has prisoner cells in the back compartment, and this is used for storing criminals when you capture them and then taking them and receiving a reward for them. Um, the Warlock is the EMP variant, and this is sent behind enemy lines and used to disrupt any electrical interference or weapons, anything that your enemies may have. And then you have the Titan, which is the cargo variant. And this is used simply to house cargo or trade in the back and it turns it into like a hauler ship. If you want a good general purpose ship, the, the Titan is definitely going to be the go-to because you can dogfight with it, you can, you can move cargo, you can basically do a bit of everything with it. it. It's a really handy little runner. But at the same time, for like, if you just want a slight variant, the Warlock can definitely like mess up someone's day where you can just fly by and unleash a nasty surprise for them, you know. It's got some nice, distinct, clear, varied roles with its variants, which I think really helps, it really helps like the ship have a nice lifespan. The thinking behind having the three different variants is that it offers a different type of gameplay for every person out there who wants to play the game. So if you're not into the combat, then you've got the cargo side of things with the Titan. But if you do like sneaking around and dealing with people one-on-one, -on -one, then, then you've got the Stalker. The variant that I've worked on the most is the Warlock, working on the EMP drive at the back. There were existing concepts for this, but they were done years ago and we wanted to modernise them a little bit and just going through that process now and trying to make it feel really chaotic and alive in there, like it's, it's, you're in there, but you're not, you feel like you're not supposed to be in there. I think this, this is a ship for any player, really, because it has the variants, it has something there to match their play style. If you want to be the full frontal assault, you've got the EMP drive. If you want to be the stealthy kind of player, you've got the bounty hunter version, the stalker. 
And if you just want nothing to do with combat, you just want to take your cargo and make money from it, then you've got your Titan variant. I think so. It's quite a straightforward ship, really. It's like it's kind of what you see is what you get. It looks like a cool space shuttle because that's essentially what it is. It doesn't have anything like a kitchen on there because you're not going to be in it for that long stretch of time. There's a bedroom in case you want to camp out overnight or something in between your jobs. But aside from that, you're going to be using it as transport. Mm -hmm.